he is a legendary Ottawa-based folk singer, Sneezy Waters. Has a big show coming up Saturday, February 8th at the Bronson, Bronson Centre. And we're about to find out about this guy's amazing career right now and more about the show. Sneezy, hello, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much, Dylan. It's Let's great go. being here. Well, we're, we're happy you're, you're here. Yeah. Uh, you, you've got quite the story, quite the resume. Oh, yeah, I've been around for a while. Yeah, your, your family was musical. So let's go back a little bit here. Your well, mom... we lived in, we lived over on Daniel Avenue when my, my mom played the piano and sang really well. She, and her mom did too, had done. And uh, my father was in a glee club at Hart House. And so we all, we, and we just always sang on Saturday nights because there was not any TV at that time. And mm -hmm. there was a, uh, you know, after you'd listen to Rawhide on the CBC, well then you, you'd had to make your own music. So we used to sing at the Fireside Folk Song Book. We'd go through that. All these old, old folk songs, you okay. know. And as you got a bit uh, older, uh, you yourself started performing in, in coffee houses. Yeah. With some uh, decent names as well, some recognizable people. Yeah, I, I, I worked as a, as, yeah, I sang in the church choir too at St. Luke's. Up, it's now in Chinatown, but uh, yeah, I, I, we just got to know other people in town. It was a very slow process. There was no, there was no Bob Dylan yet, you know. Yeah. And uh, so we were just working around, and we meet up. Neville Wells, I played with him for a long time. And Nev and Pete, we used to do a bluegrass kind of thing. And then mm -hmm. he and I and Sandy and Bruce and and uh, we formed a group called The Children, and we used to do a lot of songs written by Bill Hawkins. Mm. And uh, and Bruce Coburn was, was starting to write then, too. In fact, Bill... Bruce used to write to Bill's words, and then finally Bill said, why don't you write your own words and, and write the music for that? So that was really where Bruce started out. And he used to live just over here on Highland. Yeah, Avenue. that's fun. You've performed pretty much uh, around the world. I mean, Osaka, yes. Hong Kong. Um, yeah, no. then my, uh, in my, well, we went over to for Expo 70 to, uh, to Osaka. Mm -hmm. We played there for about three, four months. It was really nice. And then we, we said... We didn't want to come home, so we yeah. we uh, got on a freighter and went to Hong Kong. We played the the Hilton there for about four months, then to Bangkok, same deal, and then even up to Laos into into uh, Vientiane during that conflict, I uh, shall we call it, over there. So we were just young and yeah. Before we get to your show, let's talk about some other shows you appeared on. You were even in the Twilight Zone at one point. Yes. Really? Yeah. How do you find that out? That Google. Oh, I did that's, some research. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that was really fun. I did that down in Toronto. They were they were co-producing with some Americans, and uh, oh man, that was a good part for me. I was uh, playing a blind. Uh, is it prescient? That word is that someone who could could know about you before you could even know. Okay, I think so, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, something yeah. not quite like a Weizsäcker, you know. Yeah. So uh, that was that's on uh, Love Is Blind. People yeah. can look up, up that. It. And Love Is Blind on the Twilight Zone. Let's it's talk really about cool. this big show. It's happening Saturday, Bronson Center. It's yeah. Easy Waters and the Marvelous. Can we talk about the Marvelous? That's the your Marvelous, band, right? yes. Well, those guys have been playing with me for a long time, and uh, we were called the. Uh, the very fine band. Mm -hmm. We just come up with a name like that, and then our dear uh, friend Ed Bim passed away. Yeah, he uh, did, yeah, you heard about him, of course. And he was a big part of the thing. So we said we'll change the name and just st go with the f four piece instead of the five piece for now. Okay. So uh, your repertoire, though, with the marvelous, I mean, over a hundred songs or so, correct? So what can people expect? You're not going to perform all hundred songs. No, that's a no, long night. No, but it's with different it's genres, a, different eras. We're areas. still we're still working it out. We've got uh, like I had uh, I've had 26 songs for this thing, and then I'm saying that's a little much. But then I'm doing this and that. Uh, I would say uh, there's old folk songs. Oh, my darling Clementine, that's a given. Yeah. Uh, the harder they come, the harder they fall. Reggae tune. Uh, there'll be a Bob Dylan tune. Uh, Tony Bird. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's still, and a lot of them are real old songs and songs that uh, still ring true today. Yeah. Uh, it's if the if the pe pe people will come, they'll hear it, and it's a it's an all ages gig too. We were That's in good. there a while ago doing a show with the with the musicians union and. Uh, 
it was just great, and so we, we decided to go back there. And okay, 45 seconds left here. It's happening at Mac Hall. Uh, get your tickets in advance. You'll save a few bucks. Where can people do that? You can do that on, uh, online at Eventbrite slash Sneezy, or you can get them at... Uh, uh, the two, compact yeah. music. The two, uh, two yeah, one in the Glebe and one downtown. They have some tickets. Okay, and and twenty bucks. So it's a good deal. Hey, and I understand there's a big dance floor as well at this venue. We're so. going to encourage people to dance. That's that. I haven't done a dance gig like that for for many years. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. And it's an afternoon show as well. It's an afternoon show, and you're right in Chinatown. So uh, you know, have something to eat. There you go. Sneezywaters.com for more details. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Real Great pleasure. Job. Real honor to have Sneezy on our show. More daytime coming up on Rogers TV.